I scale down this basic cube to use as a smoke source. Enter edit mode, press S, 0.2 to zoom out, in object mode, go to object, quick effects, quick smoke. Blender automatically creates a smoke domain for me. The original idea was to create two different colored smoke sources in the same smoke domain, so I adjusted the first smoke source position and smoke domain size accordingly. Now that you have to cache it, everything you change will show up. In the caching part of the smoke domain, I cache from the first frame to the 100th frame so that I don't have to wait too long. If the type is selected as all, you will see the bake all button displayed. Now I will enter the smoke source to adjust the direction of the smoke. The smoke from this source will fly along the X axis, so I will turn on initial velocity and set the initial X value to 4. If you want the smoke to go faster then increase this value. Click bake all to cache changes. Now I run test. The smoke has moved from left to right, but is still pointing upwards, because the initial temperature of the smoke is high and the buoyancy density of the smoke is greater than zero causing it to rise. I will set these two values to zero. And bake all. Now the smoke has flown in the direction I wanted. Now I'm going to increase the resolution division by 4 times to make the smoke look sharper. And create a turbulent force to make the smoke fly more naturally. How much strength is up to you, I set it as 0.2. When you enable adaptive domain, it will save a lot of bake time. The larger the smoke domain, the slower the bake. Adaptive domain is turned on, the smoke domain will change to adapt to the space that the smoke occupies. It's pretty smooth. Now I set the color for the smoke. and double the smoke source to create a new smoke source. Initial X will be minus four to let the smoke fly in the opposite direction. Change the color of the smoke. Now continue to bake and wait. This process takes a lot of time, I cut it down to save your time. Everything looks fine. But in render mode the smoke has no color, it's all gray to be exact. So I went to the shader editor and continued working. But first I need light. And to be quick I add an environment to the project. I only took the light, not the landscape, so the transparency mode is suitable. And cycles rendering makes the image more buoyant and vivid. A principled volume table is automatically created when you use quick smoke. The default smoke color is the color of the color attribute in this palette, regardless of what color you set the smoke sources to. Now I will take the color attribute of the smoke sources, assign it to the color in the principled volume panel so that the smoke sources display their own smoke color. Use scale and vector math to adjust the brightness of the color. Increase the density of the smoke to make it look better, but there will be black edges, so I used the density property to do this. Change this value until you are satisfied. You are listening to voice from a text-to-speech program. If it's a bit uncomfortable or incorrect, please forgive me. Thank you for watching the video.